Hey guys, uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about August 2nd, League of Legends LPL DFS slate. We have a two game LPL slate, um, so it's kind of a boring night, but tomorrow we will have LCK LPL four game slate. So yeah, without any further ado, let's dive in. So it's a pretty interesting slate in my opinion. Um, Rare Adam versus IG. IG is a favorite. Um, both of these teams have been pretty bad um, across the summer split. Um, and I'll show you what that means because one of these teams, Rare Adam, has already been eliminated uh, from making the playoffs. So really, there's not much playoff implications or motivation for Rare Adams uh, part. Uh, but on the other hand, Invictus Gaming, they're, they're three and nine, barely clinging on to that last playoff ticket, uh, potentially here um, in the 10th spot. Um, they just have to win out, basically. Um, and they're on a two game, you know, modest uh, two game winning streak. Um, and I do think they have a favorable matchup against Rare Adam today. And Rare Adam just hasn't looked very good. I mean, um, Rare Adam's, like I said, playoff hope is dead. Um, and iBoy and Yuyanja were really, really bad against, uh, who was it? Against EDG. Um, Viper, I believe, for EDG had like 19 kills in game two against Rare Adam. I mean, iBoy and Yuyanja. Now Zora is starting. I'll, I'll note that here. Um, Zora is starting at support. Um, they probably were fed up with Yuyanja, kept getting caught out um, for Rare Adam in that last series against EDG. Um, but I still do think, um, I don't think Zora is much of an improvement over Yuyanja. I think I think the bottom lane is still going to be a big liability, and this is very important because um, you know the other side of the matchup is Invictus Gaming, and Invictus is Invictus Gaming's big biggest weakness has been the bottom lane as well, with On and Wink um, now starting in the bottom duo, um, probably for the rest of the year um, after winning a few games here and there with that combo. Um, on is pretty good. Um, I, I, I just think that they're still, you know, one of the worst bottom duos um, in the LPL. Um, but then iBoy and Yuanja or Zora, you know, have been really bad as well. So I just feel like RA does not have enough in the bottom lane to exploit IG's bad bottom lane as well. So that kind of puts me at um, like who has the better half top half of the map, right? So Cube, Leanne, Stry versus Zika, June, and Mole. And Mole has been really, really the engine uh, behind IG's kind of resurrection of the summer split. Um, I know June and Zika actually have been playing really, really well. I mean, throughout the entire summer split, but it's been the bottom half, the mid laner, I think Yukai when he was starting and then, you know, Wink was starting at eight carry, but you know, they had, they've been experimenting with all different kinds of combinations in the bottom lane, but this five has been pretty good over the last two, two weeks. Um, and they're sticking with it. And frankly, like I said, Invictus Gaming with that playoff motivation um, and, you know, uh, the bottom lane uh, not being exploited by Rare Adam's weak bottom lane as well. I give advantage to Zika, June, and Mole over Cube, Leanne, and Strive. Like I said, Mole has been playing well. And June and Zika are definitely better than Leanne and Cube, in my opinion. So I'm going to have to go with IG, to, you know, roll with IG here, probably when two to zero. I think Rare Adam has kind of, um, you know, I think they're folding. <laughs> um, they're done with the season. They're probably just looking for, you know, the, the, you know, just going home and watching the world from their own house. Um, I think their season is over. Well, it is over. Um, I think they're kind of lacking any motivation. They're not looking for any incentives in their contracts or anything like that for players either. So I do think IG has a lot more to play for here and they have a better top half of the map and their bottom lane will not get exploited, likely not get exploited by iBoy and Zora. So that tells me that IG is going to win and I'll probably have the least amount of exposure to Rare Adam. I'm pretty sure that IG will win, um, but <laughs> you know anything can happen in the LPL. So, but I'm picking IG to win two to zero. 
The second matchup of the day is BLG versus V5. Um, interesting matchup, only because some people thought that Victory 5 was a world's contender until they've lost or they've dropped two games last week against JDG and OMG. Um, JDG loss, I understand. I mean, JDG is, has been one of the more elite teams and better team fighting teams as well. Um, and then for OMG, I mean, that, that was a big surprise for some people, but you know, I'm not entirely surprised because B5, um, has been struggling against, uh, you know, early game aggression teams like OMG and JDG who like to team fight. Um, you know, once they get behind B5 is not the best team. Uh, at coming from behind. Um, so I do think, uh, you know, that's the kind of uh, matchup analysis that I, you know, I I'd like to kind of focus on some tendencies and trends that each team is bad at and good at. Um, and V5 is bad at that. Is they're bad at early game teams that, you know, like to team fight and kind of, you know, snowball, snowball from there. V5 is not very good at coming back from a goal deficit. So is BLG one of those teams? That's a good question. Um, it's really a hard to um, put my finger on BLG because now BLG has brought back their regular starters that they've been paying a lot of money. Uh, you know, the, the management the management for BLG has been paying a lot of money for. Um, Weiwei, Icon, and Doggo. Well, I guess Weiwei and Doggo are coming back. You know, they have come back into their regular roster spots over Khan and Jungle and uh, Rise and the AD carry position and Icon. It's probably a better suit. I'm um, just watching both uh, BLG teams with Icon at mid versus um, Fofo at mid. Um, Icon has been more of a kind of a solidifying team uh, role for that team. Uh, whereas Weiwei and Doggo are just better skilled players, I think, over Khan and uh, Rise. Khan has, Khan has been pretty good, in my opinion, but I think Weiwei, his confidence, his swag, I know, like, I think after the last series when the, he, he, I think he shouted at the coach that, you know, you can't win without me, you know, in the roster or something like that. So Weiwei was, you know, he's very vocal, but he is full of confidence, um, but I do think him getting benched has kind of motivated motivated him to come and play better. Um, so we'll see if that continues. Maybe it was just like a one game thing where he comes back and wants to prove his coach is wrong. But here we are, second game in now after he got subbed back in. We'll see what happens against a tough opponent in B5. Um, and yeah, I mean, Weiwei is a good player, but I just feel like he's been so inconsistent. So we'll see if he is consistent, uh, has been, you know, has... Being, you know, uh, you know, he decided to be more consistent um, this past week. Um, but Ben has been the best player, probably bright, long, uh, long bright spot for BLG. Um, I do think he have, definitely has an advantage over Rich. Um, Rich is not the best like laning phase uh, person, um, but his team fight's pretty good. Um, I put that in my notes there, but um, I like Rich. Um, in team fights, but I mean, V5 needs to get there, right? Like I said, if they get behind early game, I mean, they'll probably lose. Um, but BLG is not that kind of a team, in my opinion. I mean, I think BLG also tends to kind of play slowish like V5. They like to scale, they like to put a lot of resources in bin um, and kind of get him uh, fed early game and go from there. But not like, you know, they, they don't put a lot of resources in the bottom lane where they try to get the, you know, uh, guys ahead um, and win early team fights around Dragon or, you know, around Herald. I think they like to kind of scale and play a little bit slower in the early game. So I don't know if V5 um, is going up against a team like that, that they're a nemesis type of a team. Um, so I do think I do think V5 will win. Um, I'm a little concerned that they're starting XLB again. Shout out Bao um, over Carsa. Um, but I think, I mean, frankly, they've been really interchangeable. I think they've, I mean, neither of them has been better than the other, other jungler. I think XLB is fine. Um, I don't think it's any like huge downgrade or upgrade for, you know, uh, against Carsa or anything like that So from Carsa. Um, so I think V5 should win here. 
Um, but BLG has been up, you know, like I said, up and coming. I think after they after, after the regular starters came back in, uh, they have looked pretty good. Um, I did not expect them to beat FPX like that, two to zero. But, you know, I, I think they looked better. Um, but I think it was more of a one-time, one-series thing. Uh, and like I said, against V5, who has been, you know, that has been pretty good. I know they dropped two games, but they've dropped two games against um, early game aggression teams like JDG and OMG, like I said. But I don't think BLG is not, I don't think BLG is quite at that level yet um, or just don't like to play that way. So I think V5 should be fine here. I think V5 should win. But I do think BLG has a shot. I mean, I think BLG has a shot at upset tonight, more way more than Rare Adam. I think Rare Adams, like I said, uh, playoff hope is dead, and their their laning phase has been really bad, especially in the bottom lane. Um, so I do think BLG could pull this off, and they have a better shot at pulling this off, despite the Vegas odds that we see here tonight. Um, in terms of the kill upside, yeah, I mean, I think Rare Adam and IG uh, should be, um, this should be more of a high kill, higher kill upside game. Um, you saw Rare Adam's game against EDG. EDG scored like 33 kills in game two or something like that, and like 40 something or almost 50. I think 50 something um, for the for the series for EDG. So Rare Adam, I think they're just done with the season they don't care they don't really give a crap if they give up a lot of deaths um i think that will benefit ig's kill upside and ig likes to play fast and blg and v5 i think they both like to play a little bit slower on the slower side so i would get a long stack from the rare adam ig which in kate in my in my predictions ig a long stack would probably be preferred so ig v5 for cash probably i don't know so that's kind of where I'm at and I think I'll have some exposure to BLG just in case so anyway so that's where I'm at um but if you want to come you know check out my Patreon you will see be able to see my exact match predictions and my favorite prize picks place um but otherwise if you like the video please hit the like button below um that gets me going and gets true DFS going that has sponsored this video um come come check out their channel and watch videos about other sports but yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube uh, video, or you can reach out to me at DFS uh, Chan on Twitter or on Discord at TrueDFS. Have a good one, and hope you guys see you at the top of the leaderboard. See ya.